But uh, as soon as we have more to say about that, Sam, as I've said to you many times before, uh, as you know, you, you, you will be amongst the very first to, to know. What 100 were, what... fines is quite something. It wasn't that long ago, five months, that you said no rules were ever broken. What do you say to people who find it difficult to believe that you ever really thought this was true? Well, uh, as soon as I have uh, any more to say about that, Sam, you will be amongst the very first to, to know. But what we're doing here in Sorry, Stoke... if I could just uh, stay on this can topic. I, can I, can I, uh, our questions, no. Prime Minister. Uh, Keir Starmer has said that he will resign if he's found guilty of breaking the law. Why do you think he did that? Is no, it evidence uh, of honour? Look, as soon as I have any more to say on this, uh, on this subject, uh, I will make sure that you, Sam, are amongst the, the very first to know. But what we're doing here in Stoke is making sure that we focus on the thing that I think that matters uh, most to the people of this country right now, and that is uh, getting us through the post-COVID aftershocks, making sure that we not only help people with uh, the the cost of living right now, uh, with all the things that, that we're doing, and continue to apply maximum ingenuity to, to dealing with it, uh, but also take the steps uh, that are necessary uh, to deal with some of the supply side problems, particularly on uh, cost of energy, uh, cost of housing, uh, cost of transport, uh, cost of childcare, and look at what we're doing in the, in the Queen's speech and beyond. And you've got the the bills that are going to be necessary uh, to help us through it. And we're, so the British Energy Security Strategy is, is there to help particularly uh, with the, uh, the, our basic strategic failure over the last few decades to make sure that we have dependable uh, resources ourselves. I've just been to a fantastic business uh, here in Stoke uh, where they are growing, uh, they're, they're putting on sales around Europe, uh, but they, they're, they're hiring more and more people. Uh, but they need uh, to have secure, dependable energy supplies. That's why we're having a nuclear reactor every year. That's why we're going into 50 gigawatts uh, of wind by 2030. That, Prime Minister, that was the Queen's speech on Tuesday. But what are you going to do next? There are an array of options that you could reach for. What do you think of income tax cuts, a windfall tax, getting rid of grade levies? And do you think that we need help, as some of your MPs say, that's basically on the scale of the COVID rescue package? Which of those options are well, you leaning towards? Or so we will continue to use all the ingenuity uh, and uh, uh, compassion. How are we doing, guys? Myself, Chris Freddy, OBE here. And you have a quick one. Real talk, true season. Don't worry, I'll wait. Boris Johnson comes out and responds. And this is just a video, guys. I just want us to really, really take it in. This is meant to be our leader. This is everybody around the world looking at Great Britain. And this is how really great we are. He diffuses the situation. Man, ox man. You get me? 100 fines, big man. Yeah? What's going on there? Man's talking about, oh, I'll let you know. You'd be the first person to know. What are you talking about? You either had a party or you, you didn't. You either broke the rules or you didn't. And we all know you broke the rules. And even Keir Starmer's broke the flipping rules now. And he's talking about he will resign. And you still don't want to resign. And then you want to talk about other things that you're trying to do and things that you've done. It doesn't make any sense, guys. And these are the kind of times where I'm worried. I'm sitting there worried about our leaders. I'm sitting there worried about the rest of the world and how they look at us. And we talk about, oh, we are great. And oh, we are the first to do this and first to do that. But you can't even take ownership and say, do you know what, guys? I messed up. You know what's there? Big man thing. I messed up. I had a couple of parties. It's my birthday. I wanted to get tricky, tricky, sippy, sippy. You know what's there? I wanted to, you know, one day give my girl a little wine, have more kids and all that. And I did tell you to stay in. And I did tell you this lockdown because I can set rules for you guys. And I didn't thought it would apply for me because I didn't think I was going to get caught. Cool. I didn't think no one was going to leak this information because I thought my ship and my team was tight. That's what you need to say. You need to say sorry for all the people that you didn't allow to go to funerals. You need to say sorry to all the people that wasn't able to go to their care home to see their mums. You need to say sorry to all the people that was in hospital for no flipping reason and you wasn't even allowing the, the babies to be born with the fathers there and all the rest of it. There's, there's some sorries out there. There's some sorries that need to be done. That's what you need to do. Be a man. Have your coronas. Yeah, take some accountability and say, do you know what? I've messed up, guys. You know what? I'm sorry. I was wrong. This shouldn't have never happened in the first place. But all you do is lie after lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. Your whole team's been crumbling around you. You know the ones there? All Matt Hancock and all the rest of them, man. Them man been snitching on you. You know what? Like, everything's been going wrong. And you're sitting there trying to go on like you're the best prime minister. You're sitting there to go on like you're doing good stuff. Boris, you either step down and take your responsibilities or just man up, bruv. Just man up. Because right now, when the next election comes, you're gone and 
anyway, we've had enough of you. We don't even want Keith either, brother. You get me? But right now, we're trying to kick out all of you because you can't even be the, the right for his leader that we need. You know what's there? And what comes with a right for his leader is someone that we feel that we can trust. We cannot trust the government. We cannot trust parliament. The parliament man are watching pornographic and all that. And you're sitting there trying to not do nothing about it. Are you hearing what you're saying? There's people out there right now that's police officers that have raped and killed people. Don't worry, I'll wait. Where's the trust? You want us to trust you? You, you need to trust a slap. Because I'm telling you, I'm back and I'm at you guys next. And you guys have been shouting up bad enough for too long now. It's conspiracy. Stop it, Chris. And even us with the 99%. We are the 99%. But it's about five flipping percent right now that's keeping it 100. That's keeping it compliant. The rest of us, bruv, are folding in the waistlines. Trying to go on like you're really with us on the march. You're really with us sharing posts. But when it comes down to the real issues, when it comes down to us saying, do you know what? Let's not pay for that. Do you know what? Let's make a stand. Do you know what? We can come together as people. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that because we still rely on the government to come up with their fake news, come up with their fake allegations and say, oh, it's awful. It's awful. You guys wasn't listening. This is what we needed to do. We thought it was COVID. We thought it was lockdown. Now that COVID doesn't even exist. COVID is the flipping flu. Now everyone trying to go and like, oh, but that was the right thing to do. How much people have been injected? How much people have been injected for no flipping reason? Is there a sorry? Is there a maybe we got it wrong? Where's the booster campaigns now? No booster campaigns? Oh, well, we're still kind of doing it for the elderly and all the rest of it. They already needed the boosters. They already needed that. They was already getting that in the first place. So why did you do that? You did that to, to mess with our DNA. You did that to mess with our body to make sure that when we start producing and having kids, some people can't have kids. And when, the, when you are having kids, your kids are coming out. It's all a bit mad. Left arm, right arm and all the kind of rest of it. They are doing something within our food. Inject. Listen, I'm not even going to get too much into it. You've already done the same, seen the video of Boris Johnson. This is meant to be our so-called leader saying that they are fighting for us. Fighting for who? I can't remember the last time that I actually believed in some of their ethos. I can't remember the last time that they actually come through with something. Like, I, I, I listened back to my mum when she was younger. And she was like, oh, my Jack Factor, she used to do this. And people used to do... Like, it seemed like them that was kicking it off. It seems like they were getting things done. Now, all of a sudden, this is scandal after scandal after scandal. And then you keep trying to use the Queen where everybody knows the Queen is gone. I don't know where she's gone, but she's gone. Like, in the sense of, she's not our Queen anymore. You know what I'm saying? She's been non-existent for a very, very, very long time. We don't even believe in it no more. Even when the next King comes, like, who gives a damn? You know what I'm saying? Because it goes to show that the real people that are controlling and the real people that are running everything is the big people like Google. You know the ones there? Elon Musk, yeah? Richard Branson. Just the names, just a couple of names to throw out there. You get me? Mark fucking Zuckerberg. Excuse my language. Mark Zuckerberg. These are the kind of people, so forget the queens, forget prime ministers. If we're going into a digital currency, who owns Bitcoin? Yeah, that's the guy we need to be looking at. That's the people that we need to be looking at because these are the people that are controlling everything right now. These are the people that's going to be wiping out your job, your existence, and they make it look like, don't worry, guys, we've got you. Got you to what degree? To what degree? To a point where we don't have the money or we don't have the currency or we don't know how to do Bitcoin or we don't know how to shares and have stocks. We don't have no equity. We don't know have no assets. So what happens to us then? Don't worry. I'll wait. Oh no, they're just going to give you free stuff and give you bills and give you houses and, and give you all these electronic products and you can have a driving car and all the rest of it. At what cost? Chips and skins. At what cost? To what degree and then we're talking about this is humanity we talk about you're meant to be the free man of the land and you're meant to be a human and meant to have your own thoughts and understanding and now all of a sudden no one doesn't want to have thoughts now all of a sudden it's ai and technology and virtual reality and, and just just uh what, they, what do they call it you know what's their um holograms yeah that's what we're getting to right now you're going to be sitting in your yard Hologramming everybody every five minutes. They're taking away your soul. They're taking away your heart, your spirit, your understanding, the, the, the gratefulness that you actually have a choice to think and be like, what's right? What's wrong? Where do I want to go? Where do I not want to go? Not being programmed where to go and what to go and, and being able to select certain things where I'm like, I want to go on holiday, but they already know what holiday you're going on to. So they already know what holiday you're going to select. So they already know how much you're going to pay. This is getting sickening, man. And I'm sick and I'm tired that we're not waking up on game. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of us on game. On game, there's a lot of us on game, but there's still a lot of us that's on game on some 50-50 heart-heart thing. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Still be going behind clothes, taking an injection, still going behind clothes, voting for this foolish half government, still behind closed doors, want to go to work and don't want to stand up for certain rights and don't want to go to certain positions because my job is not going to like that and I don't want people to see me on Instagram. Let me mask up my face. It's all fake. 
It's all fake. You're fighting for what? If we can't even put our names and our face forward for certain things, then I don't want to see no one stepping up anymore. I'm sick or tired of everyone stepping up and doing these little podcasts and people covering their faces, talking about, yeah, 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 community, community, community. Who are you? What do you do? What do you mean community? Show your face. Step up to the front line because nine times out of ten, whoever's on the front line is the actual people that's fighting for us, fighting for you, fighting for your mum, your brother, your sister. You're behind there talking about, yeah, we're with you. Until you get hit, until you get shot, until something happens to you and then I'm not involved. But it's funny how everybody sends us videos. Please promote this. When our page is getting shut up banned, when our page is getting taken down, community guidelines, all the rest of it. Everyone's like, why are you not putting up stuff? We don't see certain things. And it's like, why don't you put it up on your page as well? Why don't we spread the message as well? It can't just be all these influencers have to do that, sacrifice their page, sacrifice themselves, just only for you guys to turn around and be like, Boy, I didn't tell you to do that, boy. Why don't you do a page like everybody else and do jokes and, and, and skits and... Wow. So I was doing all of this for us, trying to get information out there, knowing that I've got a village, I've got the 99% and the 99% turned their back on you and there's only 3% to 5% saying, Chris, I still got your back. That's mad. We need to wake up, guys, and this is meant to be our leader. But what's you guys' thoughts? Comment below. <laughs>